This is an agar plate. This is what we're going to grow the bacteria on. They all have lids like this, and then they have a little petri dish like this with media or bacteria food on the inside, and that's the agar. So agar is kind of like gelatin, and it helps solidify uh, the liquid media so that it forms a nice solid surface on a plate like this. And so you'll notice that it's got this lid here, but we never label the lid because the lid's interchangeable. You could take one lid and put it on a different plate and it wouldn't really matter, right? But what matters is the agar itself, the bacteria food, and what's growing on it. So we're actually going to label the bottom of the plate um, so that we'll always know what's in the actual plate itself and not on the lid. And also, you're always going to carry them upside down so that if stuff is on the lid, it doesn't drop onto the surface of the bacteria and contaminate them. Agar plates. This is Mrs. Birdwell labeling the plates on the bottom. Because the very first thing you do when you do an experiment is get all your plates out and label them on the bottom so that you can carry them upside down so that things don't land on the surface of the agar in the plate. That is a good technique. Three. All right, I have Sebastian's um, soil here. He got this soil um, from his lemon plant pot. We're going to um, plate it on the four plates of auger um, already labeled. And Dr. Greg, tell us what's going to happen here. All right, so I'm going to take a swab here, which are hopefully pretty sterile, although we don't know that for sure. And I'm going to get some saline solution here from this tube. So I'm just going to moisten the swab and I'm going to probe the soil. You don't need a lot of soil because bacteria are microscopically small. And I'm going to place the soil in that tube with the saline solution. And then throw out our swab. I'm going to mix this up. And there's actually kind of a lot of soil in here, so I think I'm going to dilute it out. So I'm going to grab another one of these that has saline in it. And I'm going to carefully dump a little bit from this one into this one. So that's about a tenfold dilution there. Dr. Greg, what do you mean by the word dilute? Dilute. So if you have a lot of something in one tube, and it's at a high concentration, so there's a lot of soil per amount of saline, so concentrations are always going to be amount of something per volume of liquid, right? That the like a ratio. Open, like a ratio. And so if you have a lot of soil, it's got a high concentration, right? And if you've got less soil, it's at a low concentration. Kind of like salt water in the ocean versus fresh water in a lake. The salt concentration is higher in the ocean. Here we have a lot of soil. Here I diluted it, so I made, um, I took uh, saline that had no soil in it, and I put some that had the soil in it, so I diluted this stuff into this. So now this has some, some soil in it, but not as much as it would have had to begin with. From this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this one and plate it and carefully by just dumping a little bit of liquid on here for about 100 microliters. That was a lot more than that. It has a little drop. That's actually pretty good. And again. And one more. Just dump the rest of that in there. And again, you don't need a lot of soil or liquid because bacteria are really, really small. And you can't see them, but they're there, we promise. And you'll see them when, about the time you're watching this video, actually. <laughs> In the glass beads. Ah, yeah. Okay. So we put a little droplet of that, that saline solution that had the, the soil in it. Now we need to spread that soil all over the plate. And the idea behind these plates, I think we just talked about how the plates have a solid surface so the bacteria can't move around on them. And so what's going to happen is we're going to spread them around by dumping these beads on the plates. So you put that little bit of liquid on the surface, then we're gonna dump a few beads on there. Do that for each plate. Oops, sometimes the beads go flying, that happens. And then we shake. That's the fun part. Spreading that bacteria all around. Yep. What's going to happen is they're going to spread all over the plate, and then once the beads are gone, then they can't move anywhere, and they're going to form what's called a colony. And we'll talk about what colonies are.